Ahoy Captain and welcome to this hopefully short tutorial how to drop down. In this tutorial we'll see how to make a dependable drop down list and dependable means that if you make an option or a selection in drop down A that's gonna affect drop down B, C etc. So it's a dependable condition depending on which input parameter you choose. Now I gotta admit before we start, I set it up a little bit. It took me about half an hour, 45 minutes because, uh, well, let's just say I learned a few things and the last part, uh, we're gonna do it together. Uh, so that's gonna require some intro, impromptu improv. Hopefully I'll succeed. If not, I'll fail and we have learned something in the progress. So let's dive into how to drop down. So here we see on the left hand side, the grid. Uh, document and on the right hand side we see the excel sheet that we are using as you can see we have raw data here's raw data model drop downs plural output and input and the most important things happening will be in the model drop downs uh, maybe a little bit output as we have the formulas there that we'll use and of course the input as we can see here However, we're going to start with raw data to give you a little bit of a feel on what it exactly is that we are doing because we are making drop down lists that of course are close to our hearts, ship types. We have uh, conventional or the main ship types over here, tankers, bulk carriers, blah, blah, blah. And these are actually ship types from IMO that rules and regulations apply to. And then each of these uh, categories has uh, subtypes. So you see the tankers consist of liquefied gas, chemical and oil tankers and other liquids. So that's four. And bulk carriers consist of bulk dry, bulk slash dry liquids, self-discharging bulk carrier and other bulk dry. And these again have sub subtypes. LNG, LPG, CO2 tanker for liquefied gas, chemical tanker, chemical oil products tanker for blah, 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 for oil chemical, etc. So actually, if we choose tanker, we want to get a list with liquefied gas, and then we want to have a list with LNG, LPG, CO2. And then in the end, we get ship type, ship subtype, and ship sub subtype on the left hand side. And I've already done uh, uh, the first two, so the A and the B drop down list. So we have, if we have bulk carrier, then we need to make a new one. Uh, here we see bulk dry, bulk liquid, etc. And if we go to tanker, we have liquefied gas, chemical oil, other liquids. Now, as you can see, if we go from one to the other, then uh, the option itself will go blank. At the moment, I think there's a solution there, so probably always a solution for it. At the moment I don't have one so uh, each time you pick another one it's not gonna choose the first one it's gonna be empty so I need to reselect so maybe in future I'll make a, an addition for it anywho let's first dive into um, the grid itself and then I'll go back to Excel so here we see the target cell here and it's good that grid automatically shows me which one I choose is uh, in input ship type. So I've made three different parameters, ship type, ship subtype and ship sub subtype, which I have also named here in name manager X, uh, X in Excel. Yeah, there we go. So we have ship sub subtype, ship subtype, the rest will be come later and ship type. So I'm going to... Um, sort them using the refers to. So here we have uh, the input parameters and we also have the other ones. Tooltip, I'll get to it later just to show you how it sort of works. Now, so what do we actually do here? So this drop down list refers to ship type. This drop down list refers to ship subtype and this drop down list refers to ship sub sub type. So these need to be the input parameters. There can only be one option for each of these drop downs and this is the option. These are the parameters. So that's not the list. Those are, that, that is not the options you can choose from. It's the parameter itself. You have to designate the parameter according to one ship type, one ship subtype and one ship sub subtype. So if I choose tanker again, ah here I see liquefied gas. Um, how does that work? Of course, ship type 
only has the ship type target cell and the options are ship type options as you can see here these are defined as follows ship type options here and now maybe you understand why i have reorganized all the different raw data according to these um, different drop down list i've just deleted that because i put it to output so we have ship type options that's a then we have ship subtype options for tanker then we have ship subtype options for bulk carrier over here so I'm gonna, as you can see it becomes more and more and then i'm going to reorganize this as well there we go then we have ship sub subtype options for both tanker and ship sub subtype options for subtype bulk carrier now that's gonna be a lot but we're gonna take it one step at a time so the first one is easy a we just have ship type and ship type options and as you can see i always call it according to uh what's in grid and also what's in i, I copy the same naming in excel that makes it easier ship subtype what do we need to do we need to make the list that appears dependable on whatever we put into ship type so we need to make an if statement if the ship type is a then b if the ship type is c then d blah 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 all the way for each different subtype so in essence we would need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ish if statements usually because we don't have a true false option we simply have pick one of these lists i usually use ifs ifc i've only done two ship types at the moment tanker and bulk carrier there we go so the target cell here is ship subtype and as you could see here this is our if step ifs so you have to make a selection if ship type is tanker then show sub type subtype menu tanker options if ship type is bulk carrier then show ship type ship subtype bulk carrier options i've also done it in excel in fact i usually do it in excel first and then i copy the formula to grid why because here we see that excel helps us with where we are so for instance uh, you can also do it one by one but because i have named the subtype options there we go you see there's actually different options for each of those types which i have named so so right now here this uh, all works nice and dandy for two uh, ship subtypes and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a um, the subtypes for the sub subtypes for tanker that means i need to here create these sub subtypes all right this is the part where we're going to improvise so what i'll do i'm going to show you and uh, just feel free to skip ahead in the video because this probably takes some time but here we go i'm going to first define this name i usually always copy what's stated here why typos 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 there's always bloody typos so that's why I simply have already done it before. There we go. And it's late in the evening here. Probably. No. Yeah, so we need to save. And I need to finish my sentence. So it's late in the evening here, so I'm probably going to uh, forget some things. But it doesn't matter. All right. <coughs> what do you guys think? engine ship type options that's wrong so i'm gonna make an if statement oh no i, I told you i'm gonna first do it in uh, ah synchronized good i'm gonna first do it here so formula for ship sub sub type mm, tanker ship sub sub type tanker so this if ship 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 type equals tanker and now i can uh, copy this part 
Yeah, this is going to be wrong, right? Because ship sub subtype can never be tanker. Ship sub subtype is one of these four. So, and it's not ship sub subtype. It's a ship subtype. That's what I meant with is late. So, if ship subtype equals. Oh, now we got to pay attention because right now I can't really. Oh wait, I can copy these. All right, is uh, ship subtype equals. Ah, oh, cannot la. Okay, if ship subtype equals. Uh, oh, now I need to. To non capital liquefied gas, then sip sip ship sip types uh, liquefied gas options. Hey, now it's correct. Now I'm gonna do alt enter, easy boy. Ship sip type equals chemical tanker, sip sip type chemical tank. Oh man, I um, think you're feeling it in your fingers and in your bones. Subtype, this one's wrong. Second time I'm wrong. Sub subtype, subtype if ship subtype equals oil. Oil, not in Sweden here. Then sub sub type oil options. So right now you see why it is easier to first define names and then do this. Because then it's saves you time. Apologies, I wanted to do alt enter. Ship subtype equals other liquids. Oh man, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Then uh, sip sip type other liquids. Okay, right now I've only done some type for tanker. If we want to do it for everything, that means that we need to do this for each subtype. It's a lot. I'm only going to show this one because I am tired. Yes, okay, I'm tired of this as well. Because we have not inputted anything here, he says cannot. So right now I'm gonna. Oh, looks good. Liquid five. Yes. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So this should be it, and it should also be it. But uh, well, this is just one. So what we got to do is, I think we also got to do it for bulk carrier. What do you think? Just got to, we just got to, we got to, we got to show it. Output two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make an output three. This is the maximum for, uh, no, yeah, we can do everything actually. We need to do everything in here. Or not, I don't know. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just winging it. Okay, and then we're gonna see if this is faster. Copy it because I believe that if we go to model drop down and we have liquefied gas. So oh yeah, it's only for liquefied gas indeed. Bulk carrier. So only if we have tanker here liquefied gas then we get options over there so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do these these four fun 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 okay lovely you want these ones so we're gonna first copy this and you're probably gonna get a spill error awesome yeah uh, that's fine Okay, so copy these. Okay. 
Yeah, so in a way, I only do these to test the formula. So I can just copy everything that's over here in the ship sub sub type drop down menu. I think you already get the gist of it, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to give you another nice example. I'm also curious to see how this will go for uh, for the rest. So if ship subtype, this can all stay the same. We just need to do all this different subtypes. Pull dry. Bulk dry liquid. So, whatever man. Copy this one. Oil. Self-discharging. Uh, I think copying will work fine here. Other liquids. What a build back. Alright, now we need to name these. Dog carrier options. Uh, okay, I'm getting confused here. Good thing. Type liquefied chemical oil other liquids. Liquefied chemical oil other liquids. Okay. Now we're just gonna name these first. Have already named. Yeah. Alright, define names. One's a bit sad. Just Alrighty. I'm gonna do a little bit of the same. Not sure if I don't know why I do it, it's just like having, having everything next to each other. Okay, so, look dry. Guess what? So, dry options. If. There we go. Longest video ever. Not sure if this is helpful, but at least you see me entering it, and that might. Uh, uh, who knows? Uh, Auto build dry, self discharging, diver. Seems to cool. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Yeah, not available. That's because it's not there. Now I'm gonna simply copy them all together. See how that looks. Beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. I want to do it again. There we go. Yeah. Only one. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, not yet. Not yet. We first gotta. We just gotta see if it works. Save. Options. think we got it probably there's an error there's always an error but uh, right now from uh, left to right tanker we got a tanker ladies and gentlemen build a build carrier okay we got nothing here so that's wrong um, like I said always an error and I see now where the error error is at because this one's only dependent on subtype yeah book dry and book carriers but if we do bulk dry liquids bulk dry liquid carrier self-discharging bulk self-discharging bulk other book dry Wood chips carrier, love it. Where's the beer carrier? That's uh, bulk dry cargo tanker, bulk liquefied. Are they, do we have the beer carrier? Mm, I'll settle for alcohol carrier. Okay, 
So it seems to be working okay-ish. As you can see, there are some upgrades to be done in the future. Like uh, if we have one of these, then uh, it automatically fills in all the other options. I think we can do that using the filter options and not an if statement. But uh, that's something I need to figure out and we're gonna need a lot longer movie for that one. So bear with me until I have. Uh, for now we can uh, use this in order to get uh, at least the, the drop down menu right. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, the reason why we need to do very good um, matrix discipline and naming uh, discipline so here we see ship sub subtype tooltip i've already named it before i made it in excel so i already did this in grid so right now it says name but what's going to happen if what do you think is going to happen if i go to input get ship ship sub subtype tooltip there we go tooltip for ship sub subtype okay you know what i'm going to do the same for ship subtype because that's this one. Ship subtype tooltip. Oh, names already exist. Hmm, ship subtype. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I hope you can see the confusion in my, in my eyes. Okay. And this is a uh, ship type tooltip that's already been defined. So, what do you think is going to happen? Good stuff. I'm gonna wait for it to uh, synchronize or not. I first gotta save here. So that's why I always do um, what appears to be maybe a lot of extra work, but it's so much gonna pay out in the long run. It's just uh, compounded interest all the way. So here it is tooltip for ship type. Here we have tooltip for ship sub type. And here we have tooltip for ship sub type. Mm, bam, boom. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so that, that's um, what we're trying to do here for everything. And in the future, if we, the more and more we do this, the better it's all going to get. So, wrapping up here, what do we have? A, B, and C drop-down list. Everything is connected to a parameter. The parameter is just a single target cell. But the options, these need to be dependent on the previous target cell. So, for instance, here we have if ship type blah blah blah, then ship type, type options. Here we have the same, if ship subtype is blah, 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 then ship subtype option. But yeah, yeah, fun. This is awesome stuff. Nobody's, be, nobody's gonna be able to read that kind of shit later on. So what we gotta do is here in output, that's why I put all these here, uh, just in case uh, at some point uh, we need to have a proper look at it. So that's why this, uh, you could say, is the formula, formula for for ship, ship, ship type options. And the other ones, who cares? So that's something I need to do in the future. All right, that's it. Uh, hopefully you've learned something and you've had some fun in the process. And I hope to speak to you soon with another tutorial. Have a great day.